All right, next up, you will need to make a yourself a casting table. Casting tables are pretty simple. Just get four shards of any type, four stone, and a crafting table, and make it on a normal crafting table. Um, then you, when you place it down, you'll get an interface like this. So what uh, this does is allow you to create every other chromatic craft item from here on out. Um, I'm going to uh, show you guys what you need to do to uh, get a little bit of progress. Um, after you've done some of the progress, I've uh, since maximized my progress and given myself all the progress flags and all the uh, shards and I'll also have the creative lexicon. So I have access to all the recipes at this point. Now one of the first a recipes that you'll gain access to mm -hmm. is in the basic crafting area. Now you can make any of these guys. Uh, I suggest making the lumen turrets because they are fantastic. And the chroma collector you will need later on as well. And chromatic flowers are also pretty good experience for that. You will also need to make crystalline stone. Now, crystalline stone is also very simple but it requires the casting table so let's make that real make some real quick there you go that's just how you make it now you notice i'm clicking on this nothing's actually happening that's because you actually yeah. have to right click it, the table with the manipulator in order to craft it and it will craft up to a stack at a time which is pretty nice so anyway uh pretty much just want to make the things in the basic crafting make some crystalline stone until you gain another level of on your casting table. Now I'm just going to spam make a bunch of crystalline stone real quick just to show you that. Note spam making is not optimal and you will get decreased uh, experience gain per, th per item created uh, to the point where you're pretty much gaining nothing. That is to avoid what I'm doing right now which is to just make a bunch of crystalline stone or other cheap items to get experience. Now one of the cool things about the casting table is it will auto output to a adjacent chest. So let's grab ourselves a chest and also a trash can. So you know how I have nothing in there Nothing in there. I just spammed a bunch of crystalline stone and it all went into there. Now you'll note uh, somewhere during that when it made a doo 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 sound. Um, that was meaning that you have leveled up your casting table. That means that you are ready, it, once you have the progress, to make the first multi-block structure for it, which is the casting room. It looks like so um, in the 3D view pretty nifty i have the final tier of casting table over there uh, and casting temple over there so uh it will look somewhat like that but uh less less grand so moving on to the next part of this series i figure that we should get started with the lumen turret the lumen turret is one of the things that i suggest making because it's pretty easy to make early game as it only requires a single Rusovo crystal shard and some crystalline stone and it makes four of them They are fantastic because all you do is place them down with a clear line of sight to the sky And if I give myself a spawn egg Let's give ourselves A skeleton Throw him down right there the lumen turret will attack it now let's stick him in the water and you'll notice that hey he's getting attacked so that is what the lumen turret does it attacks all nearby hostile entities not passive let's make ourselves a slime i don't believe slimes are oh nope slimes are considered hostile let's grab ourselves a cow note it doesn't shoot the cow because it is a neutral entity it only shoots hostiles like the slime and it will attack tons of entities all at once. So let's make ourselves a little arena to spawn a bunch of things real quick, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I've made myself a little bit of a mob spawner by just spawning a bunch of cave spiders. I also have a sand block over the human turret so that it doesn't attack. And once I take it off, 
makes quite the racket and everything around it dies. Dropping a lot of experience, which is pretty nifty. So let's just COFH, kill all, and set our inventory back to what it was. So that is the Lumen Turret. Pretty nifty. Alright, the next item that I'm going to show you guys, I'm not positive that it's in a release version currently. I am using a dev version, but it is called the Lumen Wire. It is essentially a magical trip wire. Now, it has more uses than this. Um, I'll let you guys figure those out for yourselves. But one of the things that it will do is, like a trip wire, it will create a redstone signal when an entity is standing inside of it or have passed through it. Um, lighting up blocks, doing whatever you want with redstone signals. Now let's see if it will work with an item entity. Nope, it doesn't. So it is not like a tripwire from Vanilla. Alright, that'll be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll be going over the rune crafting section. Pause it.